Good morning and welcome to the channel. I'm Old Dead Man, your host. We're looking at It's Fix number 46. And if you're into naval, this is a big one for you. So keep an eye on this one. There's a few things for those of us who uh, aren't quite so navally today. So let's go ahead and stare at our navels for a moment or two and see what's coming in It's Fix number 46. First up is, if you remember in the naval games, that the repairs could take enormous amounts of time. Now they're saying the longest repairs will last no longer than 40 seconds, and they'll be repairing all things on the ship at the same time. So now the display that shows 40 seconds left is actually referring to the most complex damaged part and how long it's going to take to, re to repair that and everything else will fix in that same time frame. The downside, of course, is that if you get damaged again or take more damage, why... That resets that whole repair, well, the repair process for the relevant module. So you could be repairing everything, repairing everything, and then get hit in another highly complex section of damage and causing complex damage ended up with 40 more seconds to go for your next repair. So keep that in mind, but it is a huge improvement over the enormous time frames they had coming in the average repairs of, a, uh, of naval vessels. There were some frame drops going on with the explosions, and that has a lot to do with the fragments that were spectacularly flying all over the place. Well, they've uh, cleaned that up, as in what they've done is disable that effect short term, and they're going to uh, fix that up so it doesn't uh, suck up quite so much video resources and actually make it so you can enjoy that again, and then they'll re-enable it. There were some issues with cameras and replays, where if you switch to a the cameraman camera, it would actually end up inside the tank barrel. Not so useful if you're trying to do a cinematic, unless, of course, you like looking at the inside of tank barrels. There are a few other fixes, but they're not a, not big ones this time. So, uh, you know, this is, a, this is a light one. The ones you're going to be most interested in is the Tehran 2 had a bug that prevented reloading of smoke grenades. That's fixed. The Magox 6A had was saying it had a stabilizer when it didn't. They've removed that. The KV-122 had some uh, rear armoring that needed correcting, and that's done too, at least on the info card. And the A-10A had some weights that were, you know, not showing properly on hard for suspended weapons on hard points. The naval stuff is just a few little minor changes, uh, and the course, and of course the big boy pair time fix. And that's pretty much everything for this particular round of It's Fix number 46. Let me know what you think in the comments below. You have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in War Thunder.